How do we get by here? There's this tree in the way, and I don't want to use a cut uh, to get food because if I want to switch it, get a teammate back, I go ahead and always just spawn back. Hey guys, let's come here and we're back with more Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we did the Pokemon League and made our way to Kanto. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's sand. Off camp and where I trained the team up to level 52. What? Well, I didn't have to train too much. Much here. All, much I just. Yeah, I just went up here, cleared out all the trainers. There was so. There was not much there, and. There was a. And as we I said, there was. How do we get in here? But there was a solution. The solution, you need to surf. So if to go around it, this and you'll make it in there. Yeah, so there, that's how it's done. <laughs> and so now we're on the other side, and now we can challenge the gym. Him here, which is an electric type gym, so Quacks is gonna be our best part team for here. I thought that guy over to the left was gonna. Oh, they both came. Even so, I guess it's a double battle. Yep, double battle. Oh, is that? See, electric types. So, and, so luckily, I got a ground type here, so nothing would. Get, that won't be too big of a deal. Yeah, so. So now we, we're fight, fighting all the. Getting, Throughout this, for a while, we're gonna be fighting all the gym ba battles in, uh, doing all the gyms in Kanto, it, and it will go by semi quick. But I say semi quick because we we don't have to do much traveling to get to each one. One meaning that there's no side quest that we have to do on the way there. You know, so. So we just like gym, go make your way to the next gym, gym, and do it until we get all. And we're gonna be doing that for quite a while. You know, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and, and no, not only that, that, this, that, that and uh, I lost my train of thought there. This is, and yeah, that's gonna be a, quite a fast wait time for us to get through here. Rue Kanto, which is nice. Nice, and that's what we're going to be doing throughout the next few episodes, just going to gym battle. I was in Kanto and challenging them. I um, mean, funny enough, this is like the fourth time you can ever learn that Kanto has been ported over. Well, fourth time you can play Kanto in these handheld games, because... Because... Well, it was originally in red and blue in 1998, or, or some, and well, then yellow came out in like 1999 or something. I, I'm not familiar with every day. Wait, what did I? Okay, okay. I, I just didn't know which one I did. Yeah, yeah and, the, and yellow came out in 1999. Then gold and silver, I think, came out in 1999. And Crystal came out in 2000, and the remakes of Red and Blue, which was Fire Red and Reef Green, came out in 2004. And then uh, High Gold and Soul Silver, which is what we're doing right now, came out in 2009. <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think on how many times you, Kanto has been remade. <laughs> or, you, or as you can play Kanto. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I actually been thinking for a while to get uh, Fire Red or Leaf Green for the Game Boy Advance to just play. Play, uh, play through Kanto. But I'm thinking about same kind of same goes for Hoenn. Hoenn with like Ruby or Sapphire or Emerald to get one of those. Of those to. To play that. Uh, those versions as well. <laughs> yeah, so that's something. And I know we could also get the remakes of of Ruby and Sapphire from for the 3DS, but I like the. I like this style better than the 3D, than the newly updated style that they have for X and Y, Sun and Moon, and Sword and Shield. You know, because, I don't know why, it just, it just feels a little nicer, nicer to me. I don't know, I don't know why. And, 
and throughout all these these next few episodes, I'm also going to be like talking about the Pokemon movies, these which will be pretty which cool. Which I am currently rewatching them, um, which, and at this point, I've watched up to the first eight, eight. So throughout all this, there will be some spoilers. So if you haven't seen seen any of the Pokemon movies, may you may think want to think about spoil. Not wanting to watch this, these next few parts, and parts until you sing them, or well, unless you don't care to see, just don't care about spoilers, then that's all right. All right, but beat those two gym, but I'm not gonna start it right yet. Yeah, too. So now we have another one here, and I don't know whether what we're supposed to do about that up ahead or there. Uh, because I don't know uh, as I've looked up what to do past that I just looked up where to go to and I would figure it out from there I'll just like I looked up that we challenge this gym first first and then then I check that uh, where the next gym is and then the next one like the, this one and the next two two to be exact uh, so that that's what I did. It just challenged those one. What just looked up those? Eh? Those that. It's all the looking up that I really did. That just didn't look up anything about the battles. Didn't look up how to solve the puzzles because I wanted to figure those ones out on my own. Oh, man. <laughs> and yeah, that's why to do. We got quite a few electric types here because it's an electric type gym. Cause I usually remember that from the original oh series. Cause yeah, but I do remember what types of the gyms are from probably a little bit more in Kanto than I do with Johto because I don't know. I just think like I don't know. I just kind of like camp. I we watch the original anime, Me and the Go League more than Johto though. Probably because it was just shorter than you know, it was like eighty or something episodes. Oh wow! How do you get through there? There's gotta be something to do. Oh, these are all trash cans. Maybe there's something, something in one of them. That's the only thing I could think of. I'll check them all if I have to. Wait. Aha! I figured it out. Oh, I see. I get it. It's like a little puzzle. So you have to remember. I... Oh, it keeps changing. Right here. But before we do that, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. You know, because. Uh, well, I just feel because that there aren't any more trainers in between. You know, I think it would be better if I just go heal now and and then do that uh -huh, and then go off of that. And that so I guess I could start off talking about the Pokemon movies. Which the first one is is called Mewtwo, who strikes back. Back with it's the first movie. I think it it, it handled itself pretty well. Yeah, I'll try not to include as many. Uh, I'll try not to include as. Uh, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'll try to include uh, the least, not as many spoilers as I can throughout the all these. Mm -hmm. So uh, that you do, so I don't give like a major spoiler about something. So all well, oh, the first movie, it was pretty good. Good, it did, did show, yeah. Yeah, it did have a nice remake of the in intro of season one, which was pretty cool. Cool, <laughs> especially with that whole one of the things that did really like was uh, no, no, no I, I'm messing up. Uh, like um, it's like the point where Mew was like doing his two was doing his hands and just creating a storm, which that part was pretty cool. With, like what he was doing with his hands.
I got, wow, I got it already. <laughs> they were coincidentally next to each other. I thought they were get, I was gonna be stuck on that for more. But luckily I didn't to get stuck on that. Oh, uh, so now he was a gym leader. You would find it, should not. If I remember from the sh show, he should have a right to with him. And he did. All right, you right there. It's level 51. One, so. And Quacks, I was going to be my best team player for this. And it's another thing I haven't mentioned that was different from Crist from the originals, you know, gold and silver slash crystal, though, to hard gold and soul silver, is that the levels of the Pokemon that we fight are a little different by... I think that they're, they're a little higher than they normally would what would have been, which is kind of hints you were saying that oh, this game is ha harder than than the original games that were came out a decade ago, <laughs> decade from when this game was first released. So wait, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's for every for every we bat gym battle we and rival that we fight that we have. Have but, have but, I know it's really gonna be for the. It is for the final one that we have, have which I'll talk more about that when we get to it, which won't be for a while. You know, in super effective. One hit. Mm -hmm. Level fifty three for Quagsire. Wants to learn muddy water. One move. That's a water type move. I've heard of this move before. Use an attack. Use your attacks on muddy water. It also. Oh, the accuracy. Oh. Hold on, I don't want to give up on it yet. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. See, it, it has the same accuracy as Mud Bomb, but this ha it has more power. So, Mud Bomb, you served me well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do remember hearing about. Did I heard of the move Muddy Water before? Because as of Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Wii, but it looks a lot cooler in in that because it showed like a giant tidal wave about to hit the Pokemon. One in battle, wasn't it? I thought it was pretty cool. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it out to Tyrosian here, just so not because it uh, not because I don't uh, not because it's a steel type. Magneton's a steel type, and I want to have a bit, a good chance of fighting it. But also because I don't want to have, just have Quagsire do, do, doing the whole battle. No, well, that's the other reason too. But anyway, back to what I was talking about—the first movie with Jamie, with with ha had some was quite an interesting movie. Being young, huh. yeah, I'll keep battling. Thing with it did have some stuff in it that probably well, could have been said a little better, and like what, uh, uh, like the point where. The, the clones were made. Why didn't they just take the hairs off like when Meowth did? You know, when, when, it, when it did to Meowth, even though Jesse and James were trying to save him. <laughs> um, we were confused with me, but. Uh, oh, but uh, I guess that's another way to keep them hot, um, captured and not ha letting them go free with random clones going around. <laughs> Now, oh, you're burned. He's burned. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> Death by the burn. <laughs> like the buzz. Yeah. Mm. Right, let's get some. Let's get Dragonair in there. there. Yeah, so. Yeah, and as far as the movie itself. Itself. I thought it was a pretty good movie for being at the first one. Not the best Pokemon movie, and 
I honestly don't have a favorite Pokemon movie. I just they do. There really isn't a, a bad one by any means. Ones uh, they all are good and just, you know, I just don't have, seem to have a a great one. One that I really like. Not too. Wasn't very effective. And oh, paralyzed. That's yeah, just very. Hmm. Well, at least that should heal him enough to we won't heal. Heal, yeah, which could be a good thing. But anyway, that was the first movie. Yeah, there's a few small ones here and there, but but at the end of it, but uh, uh, now nah, I don't want to say the ending. Thing, but oh well, I thought it was a good movie for the first one. One and then, and you can kind of tell that if you watch the whole in all the Nickel League through, like there was a point where they were kind of amping it up to like there's a point where it shows like from the movie and they. Anime where it tells you, oh, it's the one that it, uh, uh, tells you when, oh, this is when it happened. Uh, then, so that it tells you if you're wanting to watch the movie alongside the uh, and the movie alongside the uh, chronological order of the anime, and then so you do it. But then. Just notice that the pale eyes is gone. Not too Come on. Alright, we're gonna have to heal. I eh, have one max potion, I'll use that. But anyway, on to the second movie. <laughs> Just real, I remembered something that I remembered I was gonna do at the end of last time. Time, but. Oops, didn't want to go in the bag again. But anyway, on to the second movie, which, which is, I, thought, I don't know if I would say it's better than the first one. Hmm. Hmm, uh, really don't know, but I quite liked it. The, there were some parts, like, maybe I could say it's a little better than the first one. Uh, but that's just me. <laughs> He so uh, had something to do deal with Lugia and three legendary birds. Zapdos, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Yeah, it was Moltres. <laughs> Name blanked on me. And we did it. We beat the gym. Our first gym battle in Kanto. Complete. And we've gotten the Thunder Badge. And we got a TM-34. And that was saying about going to going to Saffron City, so. TM-34, Shockwave. Okay. Well, so we need to head to Saffron City next. But I did actually go there off camera because I wanted to chuck the head to Will. See what was ahead. <laughs> Ahead and what to do was to do, and also since we've passed now and canceled, the uh, battle theme music has changed, and it's even the same thing with and it's, it stays this way even when we go back into Johto. Because so that's something you have mentioned, and yeah, I did go in Saffron City off camera just to see what it was. What it was, and there was no people that we had to talk to or anything that would interrupt the story. Boy, so that's good. Good to know. No, this is Saffron one City. I remember this one's a psychic type. I pressed the wrong button, I meant to press this one here. And you can see, look there. You can see that we get now have our gym back. You know, have a, a section for a canto with gym leaders. We get to see what they all like. Like, which is uh, quite nice. 
He's um, in hope. Yeah, we'll hope eventually get all the rest of the gym badges and we can continue. Hopefully, we can get the end of this. And, and as I mentioned, I did fight all these trainers off camera. Well, so we don't have anything to do do with them. We can just head, head straight into Saffron City. The end. Yeah, luckily I already healed. So I think we're gonna. Now nah, you know what. Oops, did not mean to do that. Just watch out to have Noctowl up, up front instead. The gym M is somewhere around here. No, wait, there's one more up. And no, it's not that way. And here it is. I think I remember if you have to go in here first. Here. Yeah. Hmm. What is this? Okay, it doesn't look like we can select it. So let's go into the gym and challenge this one. I think this is a, remember this is a psychic type gym. Yeah, it is. So normal type moves don't work. And these are teleporters that will take us to some trainers that we have to fight. Uh -huh. And as we go through this, I'll talk a little more about the second movie, which, as I mentioned, is the three legendary birds. And <laughs> and even had the introduction of a slow king, which was interesting. And I loved the ending of it, but with Team Rocket being stuck, uh, stuck on the island with the Slow King. And, and they kind of break the few, fourth wall a few times, and the ending, they keep, it keeps saying stuff, uh, stuff about it. And James is all like, that's good. And it's like, that's bad. And it just keeps looping for a little bit. And it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, <he's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have too much to say on, the, on, the, on that end. Yeah, yeah, I don't have much to say on the second movie, which is Pokemon the movie 2000. So, and, and now we'll go on to the third Pokemon movie, which is Entei Spell the Unknown, which had to deal with Entei. He would, which we still haven't caught the Entei in this game yet. <laughs> and maybe it's the Entei from that movie, who knows? That's, I know it's not. I'm just messing around there. Would, 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 yeah. I thought it didn't quite enjoy quite. It did enjoy quite a bit. And also, most of these Pokemon movies I have seen when I was younger, or like parts of them that I remember seeing. Seeing so. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's something to mention. And then, don't we have too much else to say? Hey, on these, I don't have too much to say on these move, on this one also because, well, I don't want to give out too many spoilers for these movies, except that it turns, whole place, I think is, Green Valley or something. I don't remember the name of it, for where it took place, but other than that, <laughs> I it had one adventure turned into. The unknown made the whole building turn into crystal. All covered in crystals inside. That's which. <laughs> and even had Ash's Ketchum's Charizard appeal. Doing it, which was a nice. Which was cool that he showed up. And the other end. Don't have much. Too much else to say on the, that movie. And I guess there are also some point five movies, movies in between that aren't like numbered. Or like, there's one called. Oh, Mewtwo Returns, which is kind of like a finishing point for 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 the for Mewtwo Strikes Back, uh, which takes place chronologically in between the third and fourth movie. Be wit, is nice that you can, nice that they have like these. I guess call you can call them point five, oh five movies or. Or side movies or sub movies or something. I'm not sure. 
and false but the YouTube returns was pretty good had <laughs> didn't have any more racing memory except for the people who were after him him and such and yeah that was alright and interestingly the DVD for it has a bonus feature of just the intro for Jodel League Champions, which is interesting.